right, the movie is set to be released next month. Something might never have happened had Hollywood liberals gotten their way. And joining me now to explain all of this is the host of Stossel on the Fox Business Network, our good friend John Stossel. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. And by the way, I've always said Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand. Why I'm it... told it's Ayn Rand. Yeah. All right. Well, neither here nor there. Who is John Gold? And, and <laughs> we were talking about this before we went on there. There were certain writers that just had this vision of the future. It seems like, you know, this out of control, no, no bounds government, I don't care if it's Orwell's 84 uh, or Taylor, some of Taylor Caldwell is a, a favorite author of mine, or Atlas Shrugged, they got it. They understood what could happen. Where did this vision come from? Well, she grew up in Russia where she saw what happened from big government. But I agree. I was just amazed. I, I read it as a kid. I, you know, it was a fun adventure story. Right. And it's still selling millions of copies. Five, five million I read and 500,000 <laughs> last unreal. year. But having become a consumer reporter and then really studied the effects of big government, I reread it and it, it was, oh my God, how could she see 50 years ago what would happen now in America, that you have to beg a bureaucrat's permission to do anything? How many cool... Cut down a tree. Do you ever try and cut down a tree at your, on your uh, own property? I wouldn't dare. They got the tree police in my neighborhood. And how many good inventions are we denied because people have to jump through all these hoops? Or prescriptions. People dying of cancer. Sure. They want to risk, they want to risk a, an experimental drug. Good luck. And this movie and this book tell this story 50 years ago. It's amazing. Well, well, it, it was hard to get the movie made. Well, that's what I want to ask you next. Why, first of all, Bob Beckel's brother, who is a conservative, those of you may have seen us, the Beckel brothers debate on the show, how did there was a difficulty in a 20-year waiting period from the time that somebody bought the rights to this? Now, Hollywood is liberal. And they say, oh, this, this is this woman who likes capitalism and selfishness and oof, we don't we don't like her and still some people signed on Brad Pitt uh, it were it was interested once Angelina Jolie was going to play Dagny Taggart mm -hmm. but it just the studios well we're not really into that and finally a businessman John Agliolaro said I'll spend 10 million dollars of my own money I'm going to get this made this is the first it's a thousand page book you can't do it in one movie mm -hmm. it's the first of three yeah all right, what do you, do you think this could have an impact? Because, uh, look, there's, I communicate on radio, I communicate on TV, I listen to music. Music is very powerful because it touches your emotions. Movies can touch you deeply. You know, you look through a, me, um, a, 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 a movie theater, tearjerker, you see people crying, reacting. You think this could have an impact on people's understanding of government, the dangers of out-of-control government and power grabs and high taxation? and maybe the concept of freedom on the other hand. Yes, because to understand that takes work. And most people, people have lives. They don't want to devote that much work to it. But to see it in a story where you care about the character who's being squashed by the state right. opens people's eyes. Yeah.